<clears throat> Hi everyone, it's Natalie here, back with a message for you guys. Hope everyone is doing well today on this lovely Wednesday. Keep in mind, this is just a general message. It may not resonate with all of you out there. So please take what resonates and leave what does not resonate for you, okay? Also keep in mind, energies can be reversed and time is fluid. <clears throat> And if you needed more clarity on you and your situation, you're more than welcome to contact me for a personal, all right? Let's see, what's going on with the collective? Let's see what comes out. Okay, so we have Root Girl, the disowned self. Finding your roots or knowing yourself. The root girl is also the card of like outcasting. Okay, hold on. For those Holy Spirit and angels. Okay, vanishing mirror. Ego sublimation. Let me get one more. Okay, benefactor. All right, so this is giving me an, yeah, forgiveness. This is giving me an energy where like, um, you don't have to be a root girl. You could be a root guy too. But this is giving me energy for like uh, someone definitely disowned you. It could be family members, friends, a group, right? But they disowned the source. They disowned where you like so, something about like you guys had like a gift or something here is they needed you for something or they need you for something. Someone is just now realizing this, but their ego is too big for them to see that you were like a a gracious person or someone that is very generous and I'm also getting like while you were disowned while you were disowned you didn't really do much to try to prove yourself you're just like all right whatever I'm disowned okay you moved away peacefully you didn't really try to fight for your spot in a certain situation um, and that's not to say that you should have fought for it right um, I don't think that you guys should have fought for something here in the first place. Um, rejection is protection in this situation. Um, whoever was doing this to you, they definitely had a big ego, but like something about their ego is shattering right now. Maybe they disowned the wrong person or they, they now they're in a situation where they're surrounded by people or connected to a person that's not exactly a benefit, they, they don't benefit them at all or now they want to come to you because they feel like you benefit them or something clarify root girl the disowned self we have death okay i'm learning that endings are merely beginnings like i said you accepted some sort of uh ending you're just accepting it you're accepting the transformation yeah service i feel good when i can help others you're just like i'm gonna go somewhere else that you know accepts me you're very helpful everywhere you go is basically the energy that i'm getting from this right now it's like if you had a job right you are not the type of person to like slack on your job or you're very personal with everybody you say good morning to everybody good night everyone do you need me to do anything before i clock out or something like that it, it's giving me like a you want to feel like you're helping this is the exact person that people outcasted. And I feel like a lot of people feel dumb right now. Clarify Galactic Mushroom, the Divine Matrix. So you were connected to the Matrix, adversity. I accept that everything happened, or I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. And you weren't connected to the Matrix, I'm sorry. You were connected to like, You're connected to like different, like, you're connected to like wisdoms of the world, like old wisdoms of the world. Like, you know what Buddhists do, you know what Hinduism is, you know what Christianity comes from, you know what, you know, you just, you're just very well learned when it comes to different beliefs, okay? Without, you know, outcasting any like you're not really judgmental towards anyone's beliefs at all but for some reason everybody was judgmental towards your beliefs they didn't like how you didn't worship one god okay now i do know <laughs> i do know that there is only one god but there's something here about studying other people's beliefs and not judging them is something that you 
were very well versed in doing. It's something here about spirituality and not religion. You could study other people's religions without giving into it or, you know, counting out everybody else's religion, okay? Like, you can be very, uh, I don't know, you just study different things when it comes to beliefs, and, and that's just something that you're interested in. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're some sort of a devil, or it doesn't necessarily mean that you, um, I don't know, that you don't believe, these people thought that you didn't believe in God, they thought that you were a devil or something, because you basically believed in everything and everybody, okay? <clears throat> or you respected everything and everybody in their beliefs that's what it is clarify the vanishing mirror freedom and health i possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness and then we have i will honor the physical vessel that shrines my soul yeah so something about okay if you were stuck in a situation your health would decline anyway this is like one of those jobs if this is talking about a job it's about one of those jobs that's like you're stuck in a factory it's gray it's concrete it's like jail it's like prison you don't want to be in that situation anyway and this is hurting someone's ego because they feel like okay well i'm not free yeah this person is definitely not free because they look at you like you're free now and you're healthy you're healthier okay but when you were around them, you weren't healthy. So now they're seeing the difference. And now their ego is getting... I feel like their health is actually deteriorating. It's like they look in the mirror and they're, they're, they see that their health is going bad because they've been stuck at this job for 50 years now. Their skin is terrible. They're, they're not eating right because they don't have time to eat because they're stuck at the job. Or something out here is going on like that. If this is talking about a family... It's like the mental health of the family members or something is deteriorating. This person is just now realizing this. Benefactor. Benefactor. Empathy. Yep. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. Yeah. A you have a sweetheart energy. Okay. Yeah. Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Like I said, it's actually growth for you to learn different types of beliefs. It's not devilish for you to learn different types of beliefs. Loneliness, I know that I'm never alone. <clears throat> also, the ether is like the universe respects you for that. They don't... You're not... Look down on to God because you want to study different beliefs. Now, if you put different gods over him, okay, yeah, because he's a jealous God, but... There's no sin in going into a library because it's available for you in the library to study different beliefs. Of course, there's no, I don't know why we're talking about this. I guess maybe these people feel like that's, that like you deserve, yeah, something about community gossip. Like you deserve some sort of like being outcasted or being looked at like you're weird because you're studying different beliefs, not just sticking to one or maybe you did stick to one belief, but you're just like, okay. I, I do love God and I am a Christian, but I want to see what the Buddhists are doing or I want to know what like Hinduism is about or, you know, I want to know like what Southern Africa, what, what the heck do they worship? You know, like it's giving me something like that. That's okay to do as long as you're not putting any of those gods above the actual God, okay? And I feel like they thought that you were worshiping different gods and putting them over uh the, the hebrew god or something like that yeah and you weren't you were just studying and there was absolutely nothing wrong with that clarify death with the root girl we got sagittarius out here gemini yep something about teaching and learning studying give me one more good wife or husband came out karmic father is here all right so it looks like some sort of like karmic masculine energy uh had his hand in outcasting you yeah yoga stretching your body gemini and sagittarius this is the teacher and the student gemini and sagittarius are the are the teachers and the students so i feel like that's what you were doing um someone's north node could be in sagittarius south node gemini which explains everything you're supposed to be out here learning different things and teaching them to people. Or like being a philosopher, right? 
philosophers, they, if someone is a philosopher out here, they live their life off of philosophy. Philosophy aren't necessarily facts either, but they're like different viewpoints, okay? Theories, you live your life by theories and you let other people live their life through theory and you, you just, I don't know, something about uh, you learn as you teach or you teach as you learn or something like that. It's like you're a teacher, so you're always learning. Teachers are, are never done learning. Clarify adversity. So you, someone put you through a hard time while you were going through this phase in your life. Maybe someone here thought this was just a phase, but no, I feel like this is you and your north node. Yep. Can make this up. Religion versus spirituality. This is what this was all about. Relocation, changing homes, light worker. Uh, break the soul tie. Yeah, so you are being outcasted for a reason. Um, for, for your protection. You're rejected by your hometown or something. Yeah, speaking up, using your voice, maybe something that you said and made people look at you like you were crazy or like you were a devil or something. You actually maybe had worked or you are going to be relocating soon because something about like your hometown doesn't accept you or you just see that your hometown doesn't accept you. Clarify freedom. Yeah, graduation ceremonial. It's like you spiritually graduated something. Freedom. This is a secret surprise. Manifest 333. Yeah, I feel like the universe has a surprise for you too around the corner. Let me do one more for that. Something that you manifested. Could be a relationship here with good wife or husband. Wow, we have divine mother. I definitely, I, this is no jab at any female that does not want to be a wife or does not want to be a mother. I'm sorry, I, do, I don't mean to like outcast anyone or make anyone feel some kind of way but my readings lately have definitely been talking about women who are ready to be in that motherly position and I'm not talking about new age mothers I'm talking about old-fashioned like someone is ready for like an old-fashioned comfortable life and I feel like that's exactly what's going to happen here Someone is ready for this. It's like they, they've earned it or something or they graduated or people see them as this so they're going to get it or the universe sees them as this. They're going to get some sort of surprise here for being free or um, I feel like also whoever outcasted you, they see this in you and like their ego is shot. It's like they feel like they, they thought that they were supposed to be this uh, energy but they're not passing tests like I said in that one reading they're not passing the tests of I'm gonna clean my whole house with a toothbrush like they're not even trying to get they're not even trying to get on that level they feel like being a wife or a mother or someone that does manly things or someone that can I don't know because wives there's different types of wives so I'm picking up off of like a wife energy that's like from the 40s or 50s guys like I'm picking up off of old fashioned, comfortable, all you gotta do is shop for groceries. That's the only time you leave the house. Like that type of life. Either you're living this life or you will be living this life and it'll be your purpose. But you'll also be a teacher. You'll also be very wise. You'll be teaching your children's children something or you'll be actually passing something down to your children's children, okay? So that, that section, that part of the reading is very uh, specific, but it keeps coming out. Growth and empathy. Growth and empathy. Obsessed and unhealthy here. Yeah, you do have a lot of obsessed and unhealthy people in your life and around you. Or you did. And you're not around them anymore. Look, racism and prejudice is here. People were like, outcasting you, calling you names. I just heard the word Please don't get triggered. I just heard trailer trash, okay? Um, someone wanted, someone thinks this way about you or something like that. There's not enough time for talking here. Native American, spiritual protection 444. So whoever you are, you're protected by Native Americans or you know what I mean? Like 
and Native American ancestors. Past life soulmate, we got doctor. You guys are probably a doctor in your past life. Envy and greed, star of famous ancestors are here. Yeah, you deserve you deserve whatever like stardom that you're having here. But it's not really like stardom. It's like giving me, okay, you're a star, but you're a teacher. It's giving me something like um what's that one guy's name? Or okay. It's giving me like Mother Teresa. It's giving me like Dalai Lama. It's giving me like uh Dr. C B. It's like they're, I mean, they're pretty famous, but they didn't ask to be famous. They're just teachers. It's going to be something like that. All right. Someone seems stuck like they can't walk away from something. I feel like someone here has addictions or issues here. Let's see. What is this energy for this reading? Yeah, so whoever these people are, like, sending racial slurs your way. Okay, these people have issues. They need to take medicine. That's what they need. King of Wands in the reverse. We have the Four of Wands, the Lovers, the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, the Empress in the reverse. So we have two people out here. Uh, They're noticing or, like, they're all up in your business about something here. They're all up in your business about your love life or a connection that's coming in from you from God. We got someone out here that's like just very sexually attracted to you. Then you got someone out here that thinks that they're an empress and they're not. Yep, five of swords. Ace of swords. Queen of cups. Queen of swords. And the world card. I feel like this queen of cups, queen of swords energy is, is the divine feminine. I feel like you're more divine than this quote unquote empress out here that thinks that she's more divine than you. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Death card. Someone's health is not okay. I'm picking up someone's health is just not okay. I'm also seeing that like you're you're very empathic. You're a sweetheart. You deserve something out here. You help you stand in a lot of truth. You could be the Queen of Swords very cold or the Queen of Cups very um Oh, I'm hearing you're, you're showing, okay, you're showing your lover, if you're in a connection, your queen of cups side. You're showing everyone else the queen of swords. Okay. Someone's trying to figure out, like, where your uh, empathy is going towards, because it's not going towards them. It, the, you used to have empathy for these people, but you don't anymore. King of Wands in the reverse. King of Wands in the reverse. We have the hangman here, the five of pentacles. Yeah, whoever this king of wands is, he's not okay. Something about like using his uh, childhood as an excuse. Something about his bad past, he'll use it as an excuse. So he's stuck in his bad past. He doesn't want to move forward. He's lazy. He feels like, yeah, something about like, he just sexualizes everything a little bit too much. You gotten free from something and they, they didn't. Maybe, maybe you guys both uh, live the same past, okay? But you escaped your past, they didn't. They are still stuck in it or they make excuses. I'm hearing someone makes excuses as to why they don't have money or why they're out in the cold. Or they lived a very impoverished life when they were a child. So this is why they act the way that they act. It's not really an excuse though. I was watching this one movie where, I can't remember the, the name of the movie, but... It was this uh, little girl, she was in school, she didn't have the nice clothes, she didn't have a lot of friends, but she was getting straight A's in her classes. Like, she might not she might not have had a lot, but her teachers knew that she had a lot of potential, you know what I mean? So it's gonna be something like that. So this person didn't do this when they were a kid. When they were impoverished or didn't, they didn't have any food to go home to after school or not enough clothes on their back. They just started bullying others and started failing even worse and worse in life. Okay, and you didn't do that. I feel like you pretty much just, you used your knowledge and your student, your student energy 
in your study. You, you just studied. You studied your way out of uh, out of poverty. This person didn't. Four of Wands. Yeah, we got the sun here, the emperor in the reverse, and the tower here. Someone's home life is getting messed up. Wow. So it's giving me like a... Someone is shot. Like their ego is just shattered. They have no control over the situation, no control over you, no control over your future, what you got going on. Yeah, you broke a contract here for real love. And you're pleased of this? You're pleased about this? This is what they're realizing. Clarify that, lovers. It could be a Scorpio or Leo. Clarif okay, so we have Judgment, Eight of Swords, Four of Pentacles. You're doing something different this time. Is what I just heard. You're protecting your love life or something. You're protecting it with all your heart. It's like you're holding your cards close to your chest. Because you know that you're free now, but you're not playing with your freedom. You're not going to, just because you're free, you're not going to be um, moving crazy, okay? You're going to actually be very serious about your love life or your person or protecting your person or something. Or your person protects you. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Knight of Cups. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Yeah, it's like you guys are getting all your wishes fulfilled. Your wishes are coming true. You have a real genuine offer coming in. You may like, um, it can be like a little bit, you could have some sort of anxiety behind it because you were maybe outcasted before, but no. You're getting your justice for the things that were happening to you in a past relationship. Also, I'm getting like, a, when this relationship comes, if it hasn't came yet, you are being called to like just stay in this Virgo energy because we're heading into Virgo season. Um, just analyzing yourself, being healthy. I feel like you're very healthy or you're getting healthy or organized or something. Empress in the reverse. Who's the Empress in the reverse? We got the Ten of Wands in the reverse. The Three of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Also, there's a mask out here dropping on Empress in the Reverse. Making logical decisions. He's making a decision here, a cold-hearted decision. Look, we got the counterpart right here. Could be a Libra. Air sign. Any air sign. Coming together with you. Yeah, because some, some uh, karmic feminine out here is actually very burdensome. He's going to end up dropping her. He wants to collaborate or work with someone else. This could also be someone at work that he, he's tired of working with. Clarify the Five of Swords. Five of Swords. People are going to be real jealous about this because the entire time you were the Divine Mother. We have the Three of Cups. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. So you may have like a, a a karmic feminine may try to like uh, get into your business or something, like be nosy, claim that they're here to celebrate with you or something, but really it's just because they don't want to get dropped with the two of pentacles in the reverse. Some queen of pentacles energy is very religious, like she's very uh, judgmental towards others. So just be careful with this person coming around in your energy. Yeah, it's like they're doing magic. Um... This is someone that will, like, come to your party and, like, critique your furniture or something. <laughs> or they will, like, think that they're teaching you something. But like I said, you're the, you're the real teacher. Someone is not a real teacher. They just pretend like they're a teacher or something. But they only do it because they're jealous or they, they speak malice and uh, jealousy. Or they're like that aunt that comes home from out of town every now and then to just scold you or think that they're teaching you something they're not teaching you anything you haven't learned not one thing from this person besides who they truly are clarify the ace of swords yeah you have clarity you don't need to be taught anything i mean we all need to learn but this energy right here it does not need to be teaching four of swords in the reverse we got the star and the justice in the reverse
getting like that start like that stardom energy people are afraid of you or they're they're going like off the rails trying to stop you or spy on you or getting your bit like people are obsessed with you yeah nine of swords they're stressed out you want to know why because you're the star or this is talking about like celebrity like you're going to be a celebrity pretty soon either you and another person are going to come together and be like celebrities together like everyone's going to know who you guys are or this is you already they did an injustice to a celebrity they did it they these people are reaping a lot of karma for this and they're going crazy i feel like someone is sick they need medicine that's what i kept hearing all day like someone needs medicine Like, they were so wrong for doing what they did to you. Only for you to be the breakout star or something like that. Clarify the uh, Queen of Cups. Eight of Wands. Maybe some communication with the Six of Swords in the reverse and the Hierophant. I'm hearing something about respect. You don't leave people, you don't like to leave people behind. That's what it is. And that's why people respect you. You don't really see yourself leaving people behind. But it's it, it's not codependent though, because the Queen of Cups is upright. You just don't really like leaving people behind. You don't want to move forward until other people get their stuff together. But I feel like you're gonna have to with the hierophant here. It's like spirit Spirit forgives you for leaving people behind because they weren't supposed to come with you anyway in the first place. Queen of Swords. It's like you had to like kill that energy of you of feeling like you had to help other people. Seven of Wands, we have the Death Card and the High Priestess, yep. Also, you can foretell things. Maybe you accidentally foretold a death or something. Someone is trying to stop. Okay, you predicted something and someone's trying to stop your predictions. So maybe you could like have a channel like me and someone's like trying to make sure that everything that you're saying does not happen. The high priestess in Scorpio, high priestess in death and the seven of wands. Yeah, they're trying to like block your predictions because your predictions are talking about death or they're talking about endings or they're talking about change, big changes here. And people are trying to like stop that change. But you know what you're talking about yeah you're not just talking out the side of your neck we have the full card here two of cups in reverse and the two of swords i feel like also you're predicting the ending of a relationship and people are trying to stop this world card world card five of cups yeah it's still gonna happen yep the hermit and the lovers uh strength in the reverse it's like you're predicting something or you told somebody something they didn't listen now they're now they're trying to listen or they feel regret or they know for some reason now all of a sudden they have knowledge about something this is an ex or something they know for some reason you were always worthy of a relationship you're always worthy to listen to you're always worthy to teach you're a light worker because if you weren't worthy of this why are you breaking away and becoming bigger like I heard, like I'm here, you're the breakout star. You're the star that you, you broke away from the, the singing group and you became your own solo artist and you're coming, you're 10 times better than when you were in a group. You're 10 times better than when you were in a relationship. But these people swore up and down that like, this was not your purpose or something. They see it now. We got passed down gifts. Gifts and blessings, Leo, Egyptian, magic backfire, don't be tempted, new job or promotion, archangels are here and judged by the spiritual realm. Yeah, it's like, like I said, I feel like you guys are a star or something the whole time. They were um, attacking with some sort of Egyptian deities that aren't going to touch you get out in nature bad counsel dna clearing look good counsel so we got bad counsel and good counsel here someone does not need to be teaching someone teaches the wrong things it could be someone in your family it could be like a, a a spiritualist in some way shape or form yeah they're just 
they're just a hater and they're nosy because they paid for spell work and they say i paid for spell work because i had a bad childhood my mom made me wear high waters to school every day so i decided to pay for spell work obstacles removed disease in the body physical health this is a setup all right be careful of like um giving your sexual energy out to people too someone has a disease in the body it could be a leo all right i'm gonna do another reading guys hope this resonated for you if it did go ahead and like subscribe share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos i'll see you next time thank you bye